Gentlemen, welcome to Bold CNC Works. My name is Nugent. Please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and let's begin. Today we're going to be creating stacked text where you have text at the bottom and text at the top. So let's begin. We're going to start with a new file in Carbide Create. Just going to zoom out quickly. We're going to go to our job setup. I'm going to be using 12 by 5 inches with one inch stock. Now you don't have to use these, you have to set up your job according to what you have on hand stock. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to be making a rectangle. Rectangle I'm going to be making will be 11.5 by 4.5, which will give me a quarter inch radius around the whole stock going to click a line I'm going to align it to stock there you can see the quarter inch these blocks are quarter inch blocks then I'm going to click text and for my bottom text I'm just going to write stacked then uh, my text I'm going to use bold I'm just going to bring it down and resize it it wide. Click done. Then I'm going to also realign it to my stock. And we click away from it. Then we're going to be putting in our top text. Now for this, I'm not sure if Carbide Create came with it, but I'm going to be using Borealis I'm from South Africa. I can't really pronounce this name. So if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, please forgive me. I'm just going to resize this text and then move it to fit on this. Make it a little bigger. Then, yeah, we can still go a little bit bigger. Going to click done. Then I'm also going to align this to our stock. We'll see later why I align it to the stock and not to let's say the stacked then for text we're going to be using just gonna duplicate it quickly and move this out of the way now for this to work we need to do a boolean operation for stacked and text we're going to select all of them and then we're going to click boolean operation while everything is still connected We'll click that we want to group the selection because you see we have a lot of small pieces that will be moving on their own. Now we're going to be clicking our stack with the text cut out and our border. We're going to go to toolpaths, contour, and we're going to be making a pocket and we're going to because this is the deepest text we're going to do, we're going to cut, just going to make it half an inch thick. I'm going to click OK. Go down to simulation. And we will see. Just give it a bit of time. It's calculating our tool path. As you can see, stacked and then you can kind of make out that it's text that's written there. So now we're going to be going back to design, we're going to click again on text, and we're going to align it to stock. As you see, it fits perfectly in there, that's why I aligned it to stock and not to, let's say, to stacked. Then I'm going to push down on shift and then select the border as well. I'm going to go back to tool parts, I'm going to click another contour. Now this will be the top deck, so I'm going to be making it half an inch thick. I'm going to do a pocket operation as well, then we're going to click OK. Everything worked out, you're still with me, don't forget to click subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and also 
share it with people. Click on simulation, let's see if it worked. It's taken a bit longer because it now has a little bit more calculations to do. Let's see. And there you have it, fellow makers. Stacked text. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And we will see the next video. I think I will be doing creating this in easel because I know not everybody is using Carbide Create. Enjoy the day. We'll see you again. Bye bye.